Is there a direct link between the Israel-Hamas war and Ukraine? Some social media users and Russian officials are saying Hamas militants are using weapons supplied by Kyiv. Let's get down to the truth behind this. Over the past few days, we've seen multiple reports from Russian media accusing Ukrainian authorities of supplying Hamas militants with Western sent weapons. U.S. Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, known for spreading conspiracy theories, also echoed this accusation on the social media platform X. One video that's been shared a lot is a fake BBC report claiming the investigative media Bellingcat found evidence of weapons trafficking to Gaza. But in reality, it's an imitation copying the BBC's distinctive logo and text in order to dupe social media users into thinking it is a legitimate news report. Bellingcat was quick to deny having ever published such a report. Elliot Higgins, the Amsterdam-based organization's founder, noted the claims have been amplified by pro-Russian social media users. The video is 100% fake. Neither BBC News nor Bellingcat have reported that, wrote Shayan Sardarizadeh, a reporter with BBC Verify, the media's fact-checking unit. Creating these fake reports that imitate legitimate news outlets has become a common online tool for spreading disinformation. Your news was also recently a target of a pro-Kremlin disinformation campaign which falsely claimed we published a report accusing Ukrainian refugees of attacking a man in Germany after mistaking his Slovenian flag for a Russian one. The accusations that Kyiv is selling Western sent weapons on the black market are nothing new and have yet to be proven. Today there's absolutely Absolutely no concrete evidence to establish a link between Hamas's military arsenal and Ukraine. Ukrainian officials have dismissed the rumor that its country's weapons have somehow found their way into the hands of Hamas fighters. The country's military intelligence agency posted on its official Facebook page accusing Moscow of plotting a disinformation campaign around these claims. For more fact checks and investigations, check out our website, euronews.com.